Hey guys, another episode of Rose Reload. And if you tuned in to last week's episode, you better tune in to this week's episode because it was crazy, it got spicy, it got hot, and I was I had a panic attack. I was it was everything. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm am I'm gonna shut myself out first. My name is Rosemary. My name is Ashley. My name is Naomi. Hi ladies. Alright, so this topic is basically motivation. <clears throat> okay. Some of us just do not get motivation. Some of us are lacking motivation, whether it's our career choice, whether if we're doing the right thing in school, whether it's like whatever you're doing right now and if you're compassionate about it and if you feel as if like this is what you want to do and you're born to do this. And please, you, don't, you don't have anybody else in the air telling you what you should do. Right. Please keep moving or forward and keep doing what you got to do. Like, I swear to you, you'll see your, your, the success. It's, it's, it's worth it. It's worth the blood, sweat, and tears. It's worth you sleeping late or... Not or, knowing if, it's, if you're going to succeed. Right. You, but like, still working hard to obtain that goal. I'm sorry. Sis. My girl, take over. <laughs> or whether, like, you want to do this or not. Don't doubt yourself. Because when you doubt yourself, that's, like, basically the enemy trying to win. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. And if everyone... Because what's your career path or whatever you're trying to do, because your family or the, the people who are older, the older generation your family may not know what it is mm-hmm. doesn't mean that what you're doing is less of okay i just want less everyone than. to be positive i want every is it less than mm-hmm. less than i want everyone to be positive keep moving forward don't listen to nobody's negative thoughts because because whenever you sit there and you listen to someone talking or nagging or saying do you want to do this are you sure you want to do this it brings like it just you start questioning like do i really want to do this is it meant for me right. you know what i'm trying to say like Keep moving forward, keep pushing you through. That's true. Like, what is something that you had to literally, you went through, and you just thought to yourself, like, damn, did I, do I think this is a good path I'm doing? Or am I doing a good thing? School. Yeah. School. School does that to you. Yeah. You have your own um, vision, your own career path you want to do. Your parents want you to do something else. You um, sign up for your classes. It's hard. You start doubting yourself. Mm-hmm. And then you got to be like, yo. You gotta just sit down with yourself, like, yo, I'm gonna do this. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not their life; it's my life. Right. I'm gonna be stuck with whatever decision I make, not them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to go through. What I have to go through. Mm-hmm. I'm the only one that's gonna have to um, struggle. That's and true. after I'm struggling, I'm gonna be on top, mm-hmm. and nobody can stop. That's fair. I don't like that. Same, I mean, I have, I have a situation as well as though the career path that I want to be on. I, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. It happened last semester. I had this thing in my head where I like I'm in competition with myself, mm. so I, I want to do everything quick, fast. Like I'm a really hasty person. Mm-hmm. Like I want to get everything done quick, fast, and then and like I make silly mistakes when I do that. Mm-hmm. So last semester I was taking seven classes, and I was mm-hmm. taking an internship. And if you guys know, internship is really like you you gotta spend time on your internship. Mm-hmm. But I was taking two science classes: organic chemistry one and physics, mm-hmm. calculus based physics. Mm-hmm. And that was a difficult. That was difficult. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so that I had um, organic chemistry. I was taking organic chemistry, and I and I was doing horrible in it. I was doing horrible. I'm like, yo, what? I'm studying. I'm studying every week. I'm studying. Mm-hmm. Like, why am I not retaining the information? I remember that. I remember that thing. I was that so was that. Obsessed. <laughs> that was last semester was like a PTSD semester. For me. Listen, I'm telling you, everyone in the house, even down to my father, he was yeah, like, "Ashley, we were was, always I stressed. Was like, I'm stressed because of Ashley." Look at it. <laughs> it was like a stress. It was like I'm like Ashley. What else? And every time Ashley just came home disappointed, everyone in the house like, "Oh girl, what happened?" Like, oh, like, I'm so hard on myself. Like I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I'm so hard on myself. I always want to be the best. Like whatever I do, I want to be I want to be the best in it. So in organic chemistry, I was doing horrible in it, and I had to drop it. So I'm like I'm like damn, if I drop that class, that means I'm not taking next semester, and it's gonna push me back for graduation, or I'm gonna have to take the class in, for the fall semester, mm-hmm. so I won't be able to graduate on time. Mm-hmm. Mind you, this is my fifth year, although it doesn't really matter. It's my fifth year in college, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I dropped I dropped organic chemistry. I took it this semester, and it, the they. 90s. I have a whole A in, in chemistry. Why? Oh, because I took the time like to slow down. Like I was so in a rush to finish and, and graduate so I can get to like my next part of life. Mm-hmm. Like I was taking time to actually retain information. Like I was just like, okay, I'm reading it, reading it, reading it, but it was not sticking. Right. I'm just reading it so I could be done with it, so I could start my next task. Mm-hmm. But I think you know why we're so hard on ourselves like that because society doesn't give us the the opportunity or the chance to mess up. Mm-hmm. We don't have the chance to mess True. up. You understand what I'm trying to say? So it's either like you go to school, know what the heck you want because your first this costs money. Mm-hmm. You don't want to waste your time and. 
you have to make money after like that four year whatever however right. long you are in school for so now when you don't make the money now you're stressed over the heck because you have loans that you got to pay for mm -hmm. and then now you think to yourself like damn and now was everyone's it worth it? right was it worth it mm -hmm. was all that stress was all those those mental breakdowns all that money you spent was it worth it mm -hmm. But I feel as if, like, with me, too, with my, with, basically, with me, with, like, with podcasts and stuff like that, like, I went to school for journalism, and my, um, my minor was, um, media arts, like, radio and television, stuff like that, so, when I'm telling my family, like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do, and everyone in the family was like, Kisa? All right. What you mean, journalist? Journalist? Oh, you mean, you mean, like, um, what's the name? Anderson Cooper. Every Haitian person loves saying Anderson, I'm like, nah, like, yeah, I wanna do Jagukta. I said no. I want to do like <laughs> entertainment, um, um, entertainment journalism. It journalism. was like entertainment, like and that when you automatically hear that, you're like, all right, shoot. But me, I was always that child who literally like always wanted to explore and do other new things and be very adventurous with whatever I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So if someone told me, Rosemary, go left, I'll be like, let me see right real quick. Let me see what is what what's it hitting for real quick. You know what I'm trying to say? But then it's like. Now I'm in a point like, all right, so I hit that bluster and tears part. I was in that tears part mm -hmm. where I'm like literally crying. Like, I don't think, I don't know what the hell happened. Like, I was highly motivated in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to these meetings and going to these places. Yes, your girl was going places. And stuff. So I'm like, what's going on? And I noticed that if you keep being persistent, like you don't want to call security on you. Right. Like, <laughs> You trying to do what you got. You going after your you dream. You trying to break, break, break through for yourself. You understand? You trying to go after your dream no matter what obstacle is being thrown at you. And it's just like, damn, bro. Like, I'm still here. Like, I, I want to tell y'all a story about how Sylvester Stallone became famous. Like, I, I, and I, it's like a motivational thing, okay? So, so what you want? <laughs> I want to say, I, okay, I'm sorry. He said, he said, Sylvester Stallone now. All right, I'm going to let you finish. No, but, no, no, you can go. Okay, go. so... Uh, the quick is gonna be quick, yeah. but it's just like sometimes I think to myself like my mother, and my father's getting older now. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I have a nephew, even though that's my son. That's that's that 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 my son. son. I don't care. Like you have so much people looking after, waiting, waiting for you to succeed, and even that's a burden on your back. Mm -hmm. Like, I want my mother and my father to relax. I want to take my mother and my father on a jet. Like, I, let's go. Let's it's, do it's this. Like, it's, like it's, it's like they're trying to pass the baton to us like so that they could, like, not be so stressed. But out. I ain't ready yet. Exactly. You're like, no, please. I will stay in my mother and my father's house a little longer. Like, where we going? Where we, the next house? Where we coming? <laughs> because I'm not ready. And I'm very, very thankful and, and blessed and highly favored. And thank God for this because my parents are the person, like, he found, like, if you're not, you know you're not financially ready. Stay here. We're right. good. It's all right. Don't give up. They don't want you to move out. out. No, it's like stay here. We're oh, babies like forever. Who what? Make you move um, out? Who? When you first start working, they want you to pay bills. Yeah. They want you to do this. Like my dad, he see I started working and I'm in school. I try to pay um something. He was like um no. That's I'm true. Your dad. I'm like why would I even put that responsibility on you you're mm -hmm. in school you save the money for you to get to school to eat like yeah why would you even parents don't be thinking of other people who do that they mm -hmm. don't think about how the mm -hmm. kids feel then they go drop out of school because now they gotta focus Take on care. bringing home a check to support right people don't think mm -hmm. but i'm very very thankful that i'm so and i love your mommy and daddy for doing this but thank you so much because it's just, even though that's why we're much even i'm stressed and and be having i would sometimes have anxiety attacks i'm not gonna be like yo rose you good like I'm not rushing you. I know you have this potential. I see it in you every day. Like, keep going. Do not quit. And my mother said, don't you dare quit on me. I was like, sis, hold on. I'm not, no, I'm not quitting. Like, I'm here. Like, I got you. She's like, don't you dare quit because it doesn't make sense for you. You got to keep going. You got to keep moving on. And she goes, you keep talking about this. You're a radio designer. Let me see what you got. Let me see what, show me. Like, she goes, okay, I see you that you're very interested in this. Keep going. Keep doing. What else do you need? My mother used to be even on the point of helping me pay for, like, some change. Thing, you know what I'm saying? Pay for cameras. Like, you don't have to do that. But she wants you to succeed. You know what I'm trying to say? So we're just like. I'm very thankful. I'm very blessed because some people don't have it like that. Yeah. So that's true. Now, what's your Sylvester Stallone story now? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Sylvester Stallone, right? He wanted to be an actor, but mm -hmm. he can't act f to save his life, right? Right. So basically, what he was trying to do was like he would go to places and they're like, "No, you can't act. You can't be in this thing, right?" So he was at a bar one time and he was watching a bas He was watching a, a boxing a boxing um, match match, right? So he said, "Okay, maybe if I write my own um, movie, I can start my own movie, right?" Mm. So that's what he did. He, he he wrote his own movie. He tried to sell it to the people. They said, okay, we want it, but we don't want you to be in it. Right? The they offered him millions of dollars. Mind you, at this point in his life, 
he has nothing. Like he he's he all he has is his dog and he has a house, mm -hmm. right? So he saw his dog, right? So that so that he he can make Not ends Rocky. meet. Sylvester? Yeah. I don't Sylvester. know. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so he even saw his dog to like try to make ends meet to go day by day, right? So they offered him the money, he said, No, if I'm not cast inside this movie, y'all not having a movie. That's it. So what they, they they counted back. They said, okay, you you can be um you could be the star of the movie, and we and then we we also gonna take the script. Listen, Rocky Rocky Balboa is like that that movie costs a lot of money. Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> Cost a lot of money. Like he made, he made more and then some. That's a fact. Do that. It's like oh, like never give up on your dream because it doesn't matter what anyone says. You know your full potential. You know what you're capable of. That's true. That's that is true. Yourself. But the thing about it is that like who job bless no man can curse. Jesus. All right. <laughs> like I can't. Right. You know, but like I feel as like, you know what's another thing too like. I get it, like, you're gonna go through certain things, you're gonna just be like, no, I think, no, I think, no, 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 it's gonna be constant, no, and then when you finally hear that yes, what you, what you said to me, it's gonna be, like, what you, like, it's gonna be that one person who's really gonna believe in your work, or your craft, or whatever you're doing, even if you're, you're, it doesn't make sense to someone, mm. or it makes sense to you, you understand, and then you believe in it, but you will go so far, you will go so far, just keep, Keep keep pushing yourself. Keep keep going. Don't don't give up because at the end of the day, that's what they want to do. And then, and then it's just like you know. Okay, this is how you know you're meant to be greater and more. If you go to work, okay, you go to work and you're bored at work. For instance, when I go to work, I be so bored at work. I know this is my personality. I'm bubbly. I'm loud. I'm just like energetic. This that third like, and I just get there. And you're being how do you have to contain thing? yourself? You get no, that, that's one. But you have to like literally, you're being, you're being, you put your personality and all that like it's shelter or it's just like you're containing yourself. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so you contain yourself. You contain that, and then they're just like you start to die. Like that, 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 that spark. Your spark, your spark starts to like. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. My fault. All right. Now your spark starts to dimmer. dimmer. You see what I said? I use big words for the kids. Dimmer. You know what I'm trying to say? And it's just like, for, I feel as if, be creative. Mm. Just go wild. And some people be like, I can't afford to go wild. Let me tell you, if you're bored and you know like you do hair and you're sitting there at the freaking damn nine to five job, like, hello, how you doing? But well, the attitude, this is not for you, it's man. For you. This is not for you. Go ahead and go to that beautician school, whatever you want to go to, and finesse that week because I need my hair to be done, okay? Do something that you're passionate about and keep going and just perfect your craft. Because at the end of the day, I'm doing this and I'm learning time from I be taking notes down like, all right, I should do this a little better. I should do this a little better. I know what, what to do for the next show or this, that, that. Perfect your craft. That's the only way you're going to see your growth. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby, I'm first. Well, another thing is, I said this previously in a previous um, podcast, but for every no, you're one step closer to that one yes. Mm -hmm. So, like, you don't you don't know how many times, like, you're going to hear no a, a lot of times consecutively. But I'm like, I'm tired of hearing it. Though. Listen, but, 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 but know this, you, you, already, you already got all those no's already. So, that means you're one step closer to getting that one yes. So, you you already passed all those obstacles. But let me say something. Would I be wrong if I knock somebody up and they say no one more time? So I'm like, no, I don't think, no, what, no, what, say it again, I dare you, say it again. So, you know. Security. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> security. <laughs> like, show them, show them that you have to drive, not physically, on the bottle of And you be like, yo, am I, am I, am I, am I? <laughs> No, imagine if you go somewhere and someone says no, you be like, hey, man, let me see you real quick outside. Nah, I just want to talk to you outside and be, like, it, it, some, it become discouraging when people keep on saying no, but look at Tyler Perry as well. Tyler Perry was living in his home, he was homeless. You hear me? Tyler Perry came through, doing little shows and theater um shows in Atlanta, and then someone pick it up, and now he's doing these Medea Medea movies and stuff like that. But he stopped doing them and stuff, right? Like I don't know, I don't watch Medea movies. Sorry. I don't know, but she's they say. Yeah. So, but like that's a motivation too. Like you were living in your car and you did it. You know what I'm trying to say? There's a lot of successful stories, but sometimes we just gotta sit there like, all right, boom, let's just keep doing it. And then, even though, okay, and I'm gonna say this again. When you have so much to offer, don't let something small or someone come in your way or your path and make you lose all that you have been working for, mm -hmm. okay? 
Because it may be three years, five years, six years. You've been working for hard for six years to get your craft to get wherever it needs to get at its full potential. And someone comes along and that person always envies you. I understand that because if someone was there for you for real or have your back, would be like, nah, don't do this. You know, this is not a good thing for you because you have you've been working hard for so long. This time. If you have that crowd that's letting you egging you on to do the wrong thing, mm -hmm. no, nah, that's not your friends. Mm -mm. They got to go because you were Sign working too up. hard. Get them money. <laughs> all right? Dead for real. Like, don't we're we're working hard, all right? And I shout out to everyone who's doing their business and they're being damn good at doing their businesses. Like all entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. black. I'm going to say this again. Black entrepreneurs, mm. listen here, okay? And influencers, too. Influencers. Black influencers. I'm just, I'm supporting everything black. Because everything mm -hmm. black is gorgeous to me. Yeah. Black uh, photographers, mm -hmm. black painters, black everything. What? He said he was black? He's my black. Let me get that painting right there. Let me get two of those. Like, I'm on that side, but I'm supporting anything. But it's it's another thing, too. Like, I know I have been getting um invited to a lot of people who are making music and stuff like this. Guys, please don't. I love y'all. I support you guys for it. I listen to your music. I bump to it whenever I'm going. If I don't make a show, it's really because I'm really busy. I'm doing what I'm trying to say, but the support is here. Yeah. Trust mm -hmm. and believe. I am supporting your music. I'm passing it along. Going through Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever. Like, yes, WhatsApp. People back home in Haiti knowing your music, <laughs> bumping into it, okay? Right. Thank you. So, like, I'm here supporting your, your, everything. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot. We just need that one person to believe in us. Mm -hmm. If you have one person to believe in you, and it's, it's okay, then you know, all right, I got and, this and one you, you could be that one person believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. That's true. You don't need nobody else. As long as you, as long as you, like, you know in your heart what's for you and what's destined for you, 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 you can conquer the world. And I'm going to say this, too. I'm not going to say, I'm going to say this to say this. This man told me this today. I'm going to say this today. No, I'm going to say this to say this, but... I remember, like, with me, like, because I have anxiety, I overthink. And now when I overthink, I put myself in a mental state, like, okay, boom. Like, I don't feel like is this, go this is going anywhere. I don't feel like I'm doing as much as I'm supposed to do. And everyone's like, congratulations, I love your show, this, that, third. Or you're doing good, this is what you got to do. Right and telling me right, what I got to do better to perfect it. I hear that. But then it's just myself, like, because I'm not where I want to be in life. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, this is not enough. I'm not doing nothing. Right. I suck. I'm a loser. This and no lie. And when I distance myself from everybody, that's when this one over here actually be like this. Why, why you in the room there? What happened? Why you in the dark? Why you by yourself? Why you why you by yourself? Come out here and let me talk, talk to you. What's going on? What's bothering me? I'm like, nah, it's all right. And then my mother and my sister know because they're always around. They know when I have an episode or whatever. But it's like when it happens, it's like I'm shut down completely. Like I cannot talk to nobody. I'm in the room and I'm thinking to myself like, but when is it? When will I get my yes? Or when will I ever... Is this like really like is this what God had intended for me? Like this is my path or is it just like a waste of time? Do you feel the drive? Like do you feel motivated to keep doing this? Do you love doing this? I do love doing so this. So that that's the drive that you mm -hmm. need. Oh yeah. Sister soldier don't be playing. Exactly. Yeah. No, you. but for real, I, I get what you're saying. It's just like sometimes it's just like, yo, like in don't be saying that oh you you don't know where you're going if you're not putting the work towards it. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say? Okay, yeah, I'm going to be this. proactive. You have to be proactive. Don't only the, rely on people to pass, share your stuff. Constantly share your music. Constantly share your videos. Constantly share whatever you got to share on social media or going out and networking. Networking. Leaving your home. Leaving your comfort zone. Ladies and gentlemen. And going out there and making business cards and seeing other people interacting. Networking. That is the major key to your success. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. Another thing you guys need to do too: leave New York if you gotta leave New. If you have some people from New York, leave your state. Leave your state. Leave your state and go somewhere else. And feel out the vibe. Go see how the events be doing. What they do. Bring your spice and whatever you got. Bring it to somebody else's state. Mm -hmm. Do that. You know what I'm trying to say? Like you know how many countless times I'm saying, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. But I'm gonna have to go eventually. I'm going to go. I'm gonna make it my duty to go. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. This is my. New Year's resolution, whatever, but even though it's like five years into the month. Five months. Five years into the Woo, month. Woo, girl. Woo, I mean, child. Woo. Like five months into the year, but it's just like, it's never too late. It's never. never. Don't be sitting here thinking like, oh, I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make it. Okay, so what are you doing? Are you being proactive? Who's better late than never, but never late is better. Drake said it best. I was about to say, who said that? <laughs> Papi Champagne. <laughs> That's what I mean. But yeah, like just keep being proactive, yo. Like don't sit and be like, expecting a miracle to happen. No matter how hard you pray or whatever you want to do, like 
You have to put work in. Mm -hmm. Blood, sweat, and tears. I wasn't at tears part. Now what you wear? Blood, sweat, blood, blood, sweat. Girl, I'm almost there, right? The light is almost at the. Girl, I'm almost there. Cause I'm almost there. Like you right. know, and when you make it, you make it. You're happy, ecstatic. But then when you make it, don't stop. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. You don't get comfortable. comfortable. Ooh. Sis, look at that. Don't okay. get comfortable because then when you get comfortable, then that's when it just stops and everyone mm -hmm. just say like, "What's going?" Mm -mm. You get comfortable. Keep going. You get comfortable. You, you, you like you like. Okay, I reach. I reached it. I don't gotta do anything else. No. If you're not consistent with anything, if you're not consistent with anything, do not expect to go far. That's anything it. in life. That's anything. It. Consistency is key. That's true. Let me tell you another thing too. Like, no, okay. Put to your put this in your mind. Install this in your brain. Mm. You know what you had to do to get to your place or where you had to go, right? You know what what obstacles you went through to get to where you had to be mm -hmm. today. So you do not want to go backwards whatever whatever projects or goals or whatever accomplishment may come in your life take it and keep going mm -hmm. we don't want to go back being struggling like i should have did this i should did that no we're not talking about be greedy there's a difference just know like we do not want to be broke ever again we don't want to be struggling ever again because we know what struggle is we know paycheck, what broke is paycheck. that is tiring we don't want to be doing that like so keep going be greedy be not greedy greedy but like be selfish Damn not it. selfish be like, like be aware of like this is your income and do not let this one thing be your income when you make it multiple. you know what i'm saying when you make it to where your destination is all right boom let's venture out on the business or let's venture out doing this let's venture out being realtor let's venture out doing having owning our own thing let's just have something for ourselves yeah. just in case that one thing you know what i'm saying because when you're sleeping you need to make money my uncle diddy said that no, back in the day, making a band. You know what I'm saying? Making the band for. But like, it. keep doing. That's the that's the truth. Cause you sitting there going to work doing nine to five. That's your only sort of income. I get it. You understand? I get it. But what else are you doing to make money come in? Mm. This that's the only thing you have right now. Mm. Is a nine to five, and then when God forbid you get laid off or something like that, that's now you're struggling to go get a job. And now times are so hard, like you can't even get a job. Job is just like you got that job, you got to secure it. Mm. Like damn, like secure it. I can't, like, it's just like, you got to keep going, keep moving, keep pushing, keep thriving to keep going, like, let it be like your heart, like, let it be like a vessel, you don't just keep going, like, just keep on, like, that energizing bunny with the battery, just keep going. It's like, it's like a plan, plan. it's like a plan, you gotta keep watering it, That's to make it. sure it gets its full potential. Keep setting little goals, mm -hmm. to right, the main goal, and Cross set more goals. That's yeah. it. That way, you, you don't feel like you're doing everything in vain, because mm -hmm. you're gonna actually see that, okay, I'm doing something. I'm I'm crossing something off my list. Mm -hmm. Something's getting done. Something is sort of getting done. And I'm very and I'm and if you haven't heard this lately, I'm proud of anybody who's doing their thing who doesn't depend on anyone to help them or who's getting their their ish done mm -hmm. by the by the grace of themselves or by the grace of whoever is having their back. Yes, you have somebody who's supporting you and financially whatever. But you got it going on and you, you have that mind and you just need to keep going. I'll be that drive and that force to be like, you got this going on. I'm proud of you. Let's keep going. What did you accomplish this this week? What are you going to accomplish next week? Because next week is going to be better than last week. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little harder to okay. accomplish that goal, but she got it. Okay. The light is at the end of the tunnel. And mm -hmm. don't forget to network. Network, network, network. Networking is so important. I don't think you understand this. Leave the damn states and go somewhere else, okay? Even if you don't have the money, leave your little area. Mm -hmm. If you live in the suburbs, leave the suburbs, go in the city. If you live in the city, leave the damn city and go out in another state. Like, you know what I'm just saying? The Great Hunt, whatever, is like, whatever, like, the state of New Jersey or, or Pennsylvania. Like, go and do your thing and do it in a safe way and you will make it, okay? I pray, I promise you, you'll make I'll pray for every person who's doing their thing. And I literally can say this, like, literally, I pray for everyone who's trying to do their thing and then are struggling or going through a mental issue. Because mm -hmm. I know what it feels like. It's just, it's horrible. It's hard. But you got to keep going. You got to keep pushing yourself and you will make it in due time. Like, yo, like, they, you, don't give up. Don't. Like, it's like, you're so close to reaching what, where you need to reach. If you give up now, like, you, you're like one second away. Mm-hmm. Don't let from society something. put an age limit or a time limit on That's what you're supposed to get your stuff together. That's true. And that's that's what I had to, like, come into that re realization with. Because, like, I had to, like, slow down. Like, actually, slow down. Mm -hmm. You're still young. 
Mm-hmm. You have all the time. Well, not all the time in the world, but but you have ample amount of time That's true. to get that degree, to get that other degree that you need, and all them other degrees okay. that you want. Hey, sister soldier. Like I'm still young. I'm trying to live it up a little bit. I don't bit. blame you. But you know what? We're going to cut this topic off. But like I said, Auntie Rosemary said, keep staying motivated and stay grounded and stay humble. Always remember, stay humble. Stay humble. Okay? Yeah, humble yourself. Because at any day, yourself. you may think you're better than somebody else. And then you see how God will be like, switch. Okay? Stop playing. Mm-hmm. All right? I hate when you get the crazy ones. Too. ones. Oh, two. Hey. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, it says, what is one thing you regret? Okay, I don't like this one. One thing I regret... The one thing I regret is having anxiety. And I feel like my anxiety delayed the process of my podcast coming out even more, being... Or networking, I swear. Having anxiety is my only regret. Drop some mic. What's next? Who made these questions? Was it? What did I say? What is your biggest sexual fear? What are you feeling? What are you having this? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> big big red okay <laughs> all right i got light or dark liquor dark next question mm-hmm. like this is no if you could erase, oh, erase if you could erase one past experience what would it be you get all these regrets and all these mistakes if you erase one past experience nothing. what would it be you learned from everything right i did learn from so everything nothing nada all right thanks for answering for me guys you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, god dang. What color underwear you in right now? None your business. No, what color? You have to answer it. No. It's Russian roulette. Who said that? <laughs> I'm wearing a purple tie dye. Dye dye dye. Gray. <laughs> Alright. My question is how old were you when you lost your virginity? I plead the fifth. No. She just said you gotta answer. You have to answer. I don't plead the fifth. You what got you, to answer you, the who question. You, who do you, you think are? you are? Mama knows everything already. I, no, that's not why. I plead the fifth. another episode of Rose Reader. I love you guys and I love the support and I hope you guys forever will forever ever like subscribe share my videos even though I'm getting crazy and crazy I'm talking about motivation we gotta feed our soul feel feed our body and feed our mind with positivity okay so I'm gonna do this one time for the one time love respect prosperity morals motivation success wealth Black excellence. I love you guys for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in every Friday at 7 o'clock on YouTube. I love you. Later.